Hello YouTube, this is ACFan120 here. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to make 3D animation using Microsoft PowerPoint, the 2010 edition. Uh, Flash, my version is Macromedia Flash 8 Professional, and, and Microsoft Paint. The first thing you want to do is, well, pick, well, hmm, I, I guess it doesn't really matter, though, the last part you're going to do is flash, but what I'd do is just open up PowerPoint. And then it's opening slower because I'm recording. Here we go. And now what you want to do is just pick a shape. Most of the shapes that you have, or at least they give you, work. And if you do a freeform shape, that will also work with making the thing. I'm going to do a circle though. There's two things you can do, like cubes and other dimensions like that, and spheres. What you want to go, what you want to do now is go to Shape Effects, which should be up here, and go down to 3D Rotation. And then go to 3D Rotation op option, and here you have what pops up is the 3D Rotation. Now to show you like what's happening when I add depth to it. I'm just going to rotate it a few times and go to 3D format and then what you want to do is just increase the width and the height well the width and the height if you want to get a sphere um, I'm not sure like the proportion like between the width and the height just what I would do is just guess and check. The width is what makes it smoother, like like curved more. So the width is always going to be more than the height. Um, you know, let's make it 41. Make this equal. So make it 41. And as you can see going on here, it's looking more and more 3D. And this will just make it, I don't know, 35. And for the hell of it, let's just make this 45. And make this 35. Excuse me. Alright then. And what you have here is this three dimensional figure. Now, I know it's not completely like a sphere, but it's. Close, it's good enough for this, like, test. And you can see. Now the fill. The fill obviously is just the color. You can have no fill, which would be kind of... Hold on, I want to see what that looks like. I haven't done that. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, I guess if you want a ring, all you have to do is have it and have no fill and have the line color have some color and have a gradient or a gradient I don't know how you say that word or solid if you have no line though then it's completely invisible but we want it to have a fill because we want to make it like the one video so to make it like that we're going to choose picture or texture fill and we're going to get rid of the line because we don't need that and then we're just going to go to file and we're going to open up a picture. Um, this is where paint comes into the into play. Um, you can have just whatever texture you want. I'm going to choose the face that I used in the video. And as you can see here, it pops up here. Now there's there's something you can do here. You can tile the picture as a texture or just leave it as is. If you leave it as is, uh, from what I found out, it just like puts the picture on one side of the shape and then puts it on the other but reverses it. So, so that's how I'm able to get it to look like this. As you can see here, it makes it look like it has a face. Kind of like Pac-Man, only it has glistening eyes or at least circles and it makes it, makes it look more cartoony. Now you can now you can obviously see like the shininess and all that, but what if you wanted to make it I don't know make it look cell shaded? 
Well, first you'd want to choose. Well, you'd want to go to 3D format, go down to surface, choose material, and then choose matte or matte. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, and then it gets a bit smoother, you know, less shiny. And then you can go over here to contrasting, click on it, and look what you have here. It's so shaded. And then to make to prove to you that it's still 3D, because some people are ignorant and just stupid in general. We and that's something I want to point out real quick. If the X or the Y scale ever equals 90 or 270, for some reason the texture will look like this. I have no clue why. It's just weird like that. But for the most part, it's pretty good. And let's see. There's you can do a bunch of other stuff like. I, I don't know. Uh, whoa! That actually looks kind of cool. Whoa! It's like a metal thing. Huh. Yeah, you can make it look metal and all that kind of crap. Uh, I'm just going to make it back to what it was. At least I think it was, anyways. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, yeah, that's. So now I've covered paint and and the PowerPoint part, but now you want to animate it. What you want to do now is open up your version of Flash. I have Macro Flash 8, the version of Macromedia, before it was bought by Adobe. So now you're going to open up just a new Flash, or an old one if you want. And then do this. And now you have now you have your Flash open. And then go and go to PowerPoint. I'm just gonna do a simple animation, make it go from one side to the other by spinning. So we're gonna copy this. Yes, just copy it. And then we're gonna go here onto flash and paste it. As you can see here, it pasted it as a picture. The problem with this though is that whenever it pastes, it always uh, names it as flash zero. So if you want to you can rename it, which if you're going to make a whole animation of 3D things, I'd recommend it. So let's just name this face 1. I'm not going to do this for all the pictures because it'll just take too long. Uh, we're just I'm just naming that just to show you. And now I'm going to align it to the center. And then what we're going to do here is just add Actually, no. Let's just just increase the x value. And we're just going to keep doing this. Let's see, F7, paste, Control Alt 2, 5. All right, then. and we're just going to keep doing that until we have our animation, which I will show right about now. Okay then, now that's done, this, so now we're going to test play. This took about 10 and tw 12 minutes. It took me a bit more because I was testing something. So yeah, it might, it's, this is probably lagging because of, you know, I'm recording, but that's, that's the thing. Spinning, yeah. Um, I, I, I honestly don't recommend this if you, you if like <clears throat> this is very tedious work, especially if you want to do well, like lip syncing. Unless you want to make it like Japanese lip syncing, where it's just mouth open, mouth closed, mouth open, mouth closed. Unless you want to make it like that, it's very tedious to do, especially if you want your character just to be you know, moving in a 3D kind of way while they're talking, then it gets really difficult. Um, personally, I'd recommend Blender or Swift 3D, but I don't know how to use either of those, so that's why I'm recommending... That's why I'm recommending those. And if you want to do, like, a smoother animation, like if you're using, like, 20 frames per second and you want it to go as fast as this is, because this is 20 frames per second, then you can actually manually like type in like 
how many degrees. See here, 350. You most likely won't notice it because I sure didn't, but you can make it 351 and it goes to 351. I'd show it to you, but that would take a really long time. And I don't feel like working on this tutorial that long. Don't save. So yeah, this is this is the tutorial on how to combine Flash Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 beta edition anyways, the free version, and paint together. This is AC Fan120 signing off.